lecture we will discuss controlling air pollution from the stationary sources by installing a engineering devices right so the first of all beside this we can uh, make use of the better quality of fuel and efficient engine for reducing the pollution load in the from the emissions right so uh, say for example lpg and cng may be used uh, in the industry in place of the coal is where they are producing much less pollutant in emission so besides such innovation and the precaution certain mechanical device may be installed in the industrial process which may help in reducing the emission of the pollutant right okay so the basically uh, reduce the pollution load entering the environmental from the stationary source uh, the several measures may be taken out of them replacement of burning by electricity or solar energy is by far the best method right so it will eliminate the very production of pollutant in the combustion process okay so the next one which is the replacement of old obsolete process in industry with the new one efficient process may also lead to reduce pollution emissions right so the such mechanical devices are generally divided into the two category the first one which is those devices which help in reducing the particulate matter and those devices which help in reducing the gaseous pollutant okay okay now first we discuss the uh, the those devices which help in reducing the particulate matter the first one which is the first equipment which is the gravitational settling chamber so it is used to remove the particle with size greater than 15 micrometer right the velocity of the flue gas is reduced in the uh, large chamber nearby including the settling the particle under the gravitational force right the settling is governed by the stock flows the useful velocity of the fuel gas through the settling chamber is between 0.5 to 2.5 meter per second right and the largest size particle that can be removed with the 100% efficiency in the such a chamber of length l and the height which is h given by the equation okay so the equation which is the uh, the largest particle size d which is equals to 18 mu v h into capital h divided by rho l into rho p uh, whole bracket raised to 1 by 2 okay where the v h which is equals to horizontal velocity of the gas passing through the chamber right then rho p which is the density of particle which is removed and the mu which is the dynamic viscosity of air at the given temperature in kg per meter per second right okay now in the above equation it is applied to a uh, quiescent condition but quiescent condition cannot be maintained in the flow through its settling chamber so the correction factor will be the applied right so the equation will be the d is equal to c into 18 mu into V into capital H divided by G into L into rho P raised to 1 by 2, right? Now, here the gravitational settling chamber are given, okay? So, here you can see that the gas will be the inlet in this chamber and the gas, clean gas will be the outlet are given, okay? Here, the particle which the gravity which is the higher, they are settled down into the hopper and here you can see that the dust collection over are there. So, the air particle will remove by the over. Okay. Now, the advantage and disadvantage of settling chamber. The first advantage is which is it is a low initial cost. Then simple in design. The low pressure drop. Then low maintenance cost are less. The dry and continuous disposal of the solid particles. Okay. The disadvantage of settling chamber. The collection efficiency can be increased by provid providing the buffers and the horizontal buffers stay in the chamber to reduce the settling path, right? Now, the settling chamber are used widely for removal for the large solid particles from the natural trap furnace, that like hills, okay? So, they are also sometimes used in the process industries, then particularly the food and the uh, metallurgical industries, right? So, as first step in the dust control. Now, the second one which is the cyclone separator. Second equipment which is the cyclone separator. So, as the centrifugal force 
force is much greater than the gravitational force, the smaller particles can be removed and the size will be to 10 to 15 micrometer. In the gravity settling chamber, the size of particle which is the greater than 15 micrometer. Okay. So here the centrifugal force is utilized to separate the particulate matter from the gas. Yeah, right. So the, a cyclone is specially designed. It is a closed chamber. Okay, here you can see that this is a closed chamber, which the velocity of the inlet gas is transformed into the spinning vortex. Okay, here you can see that the gas which will be the the clean gas will be the outlet, and the gas and particulate matter will go into the cyclone. Right. So, in the in which the velocity in the inlet gas is transformed into the spinning vortex, and the particles from the gas are flow out under the centrifugal force. Right. Due to the centrifugal force, the particle will be the uh, will be the throw out under the centrifugal force. Right. And the particle throw out on the wall of the chamber. Right. And uh, slides down to the hopper and the and thus after that they are removed. Right. So due to the high gravity, they are sorry due to the high velocity, they are thrown to the thrown to the wall, and after that they are collected into the hopper. So its efficiency depend on the centrifugal force generated, which in turn depend on the mass of the particular inlet gas, velocity v i, and the radius of cyclone. And the given is the equation F C is equals to centrifugal force generated, which is m p into v i square divided by r. And the collection efficiency in between the 50 to 90 percent, right? So it's a collection efficiency which is 50 to 90 percent, right? And the clean gas will be the out from the here, okay? Here the exist fiber, exist fiber, right? Now we will discuss the advantage and disadvantage of the cyclone separator. The first one, which is the low initial cost, then it required less floor area. Simple construction and maintenance, low to moderate pressure, then it can handle a large volume of gas at a high temperature, then uh, dry conti continuous disposal of the collected dust. Okay, okay. the disadvantage which is it requires a large heat flow, then uh, it is a less efficiency for the smaller particle, it is a sensitive, sensitive to variable dust and uh, load and the flow path, flow rate. Uh, the cyclone can be arranged in the series and the parallel to increase the efficiency of collection compared to the single large size cyclone, right? Uh, and the, the cyclone are widely used in the industry uh, producing the larger quality, quantity of the gas containing the larger size particulate particles like the cement and fertilizer industries and petroleum industries, uh, then uh, textile industries and etc. Okay. So this is the advantage and disadvantage of the cyclone scrubber. Now the next one which is the electrostatic precipitators, right? Okay, it works on the principle of electric charging of the particulate matter, positive or negative, and collecting uh, it on a differently uh, differently charged material, collecting surface. If the particle will be the uh, particle have a positive ion, so they are connected with the uh, negative ion, right? And after that, they are settled down. And if the particles have a negative ion, so they are collected with the positive ion, charged with the positive ion, and then after that, they are collected, uh, they are goes to the collected surface, right? It is a very high efficiency, is about 99%, and can remove a particle the size range which is 0.1 micrometer to 1 micrometer efficiently, right? Okay, here you can see that. Uh, the picture of the electrostatic precipitation are there and here you can see that the wall, uh, the wall which have a positive or negative ion are there, okay. Okay, now the advantage of electrostatic precipitator which is it is a high collection efficiency, then particle as small as 0.1 micrometer can be removed, then particle may be collected dry or wet also, it can be operated at a high temperature like 300 to 400 degree Celsius, then maintenance is very nominal unless the corrosion and adhesive material are present in the flue gases. Okay, the treatment time which is negligible. Okay, uh, the disadvantage which is a high initial cost, they use a high voltage and hence may pose a risk to personal safety to the staff and the possible explosive hazardous during the collection of combustible foul gases to the particulates, right? Then collection efficiency.
efficiency reduce with the time then space requirement is more because of the large size it is a large size equipment then they are widely used in the thermal power plant then factories uh, paper and uh, pulp industry cement factories mining industries iron and steel industry and chemical industry uh, now the next one which is the fabric filter so in a such a system the flow gases is allowed to pass through a woven or a filtered fabric which filter out of the particulate matter to allow the gas to be passed right the small particles are retained on the fabric through the interception and the electrostatic attraction and uh, later on by when a dust uh, dust mat is formed the fabric start collecting the particles more efficiently and it can be remove particle up to the 1 micrometer okay okay here you can see that the clean gas will be the raw gas will be enter here and the clean gas will be the out from here right here you can see that uh, the uh, the filter are provided right so the fabric filter is particulate matter from the gas steam and allow the clean gas to the flow the efficiency which is 99% a back house filter provided in ordinary room of the factory it contain a several vertically hanging fabric this is a fabric are there uh, 1.8 to 9 meter long and the upper uh, upper end of the bag are closed and lower lower end are attached to the hopper where inlet of the foul gas is to be collected right so after that the foul gases will be collected by the hopper so that the lower end will be the open and upper will be the closed okay the upward moving gas drop out the particulate matter in this bag which settle down into the hopper and the clean gas goes through the uh, fabric filter right the framework housing of the hanging bag are uh, provided with an automatic seeking device for removing the collected dust right after the after this process the process will be the automatic seeking seeking of this uh, filter bag so that the dust will be the removed right uh, the advantage and disadvantage of fabric filter which is it has a high collection efficiency for the all the particle size it is especially for smaller than 10 micrometer in the diameter then performance decrease become more visible and giving a pre warning then nominal power consumption then dry disposal of collected particles okay now the disadvantage will be the higher temperature gases need to be cooled to the range within the which filter are stable then high maintenance and fabric replacement cost are there then large size equipments uh, and uh, it is uh, the fabric is liable to the chemical attack okay so this is the advantage and disadvantage of the fabric filter now the next one which is the scrubber okay so in this scrubber the particulate matter are incorporated into the liquid droplet and thus are removed from the gas stream okay basically the different types of scrubber are included the base this first is the spray tower then venturi scrubber and the third one which is the cyclone scrubber okay so in this device the flue gas is made to push up against the uh, against a down falling water current right so the particulate matter which mix up with the water droplet and first fall down and get a remove so the water solution when mixed with the aqueous chemical solution like uh, lime potassium car carbonate and slurry of mno uh, nmgos it is to, to help in removing the gaseous pollutant uh, also from the flue gases okay now we will uh, see the picture of this spray tower spray towers then venturi scrubber and the cyclone uh, scrubber okay okay here you can see that the first one which is the spray tower okay here you can see that the water will be the spray and the dirty gas will be passed here so the due to the they are connected with the, they are connect with the water water and they are uh, settled down to the here and the clean gas will be the the next one which is the venturi scrubber okay here you can see that the scrubbing water are given to here and the raw gas will be put here right and the, the clean water the clean gas will be the out from this area and the washing water or separated will be the cloud out of the this area right okay and the last one will be the uh, uh, cyclone scrubber okay so here you can see that the water inlet are given and the gas inlet are also given so the water and uh, water and the gas are both 
simultaneously go into the scrubber. After that, they are settled settled down here, and the clean gas will be the outlet here. Okay, so this is our scrubbers. There is a no particle to uh, re-entrainment, and corrosive gases can be recovered and then neutralized. The separated gases through the contact with aqueous uh, aqueous chemical may produce a useful byproduct as a chemical and a fertilizer. Right? Okay. The disadvantage of the scrubber, which is a lot of wastewater needing a disposal may be produced. Right? Because in this scrubber, the water will be the used. So the weight outlet gases cannot rise a high from the stack. Then the causes of freezing problem in the cold countries. Right? Then maintenance cost is very high because the corrosive material are being collected. The next one, which is the control of the gaseous pollutant. So basically, there are three methods. The first one, which is the combustion, then absorption, and the adsorption. Okay. So in the combustion process, oxidizable gaseous pollutant are completely burnt at the high temperature, and this process is used to control the gaseous pollutant in the petrochemical, then fertilizer, paint, and the varnish industries. Right. Then in the absorption process, the the effluent gases are passed through the absor absorb absorption containing a liquid absorbent that they remove and they treat or modify some or more gaseous pollutant. The liquid uh, absorbent may utilize either chemical or physical change in the removed pollutant, right? And the absorption, the air pollutant are absorbed or a solid surface. The commonly used absorbent are activated carbon, then activated alumina, silica, gel, and etc. Right. Now, this topic, control of the gaseous pollutant, will explain in detail in the next lecture. Okay. I hope you all understood about the today's lecture. Thank you for the watching. Thank you.